Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to cover early game combat and base defense. And it's going to center almost exclusively around fighting biters at their nests as opposed to doing things like, you know, building walls, like if we wanted to wall off this section over here or anything like that. And that's primarily because in the early game you don't really have time to build as many walls as you need. It takes, you know, a significant number of resources that need to be smelted, and by that I mean stone bricks, and then you need turrets, and you need other things in order to make the turrets work. You need things like ammunition or oil for flamethrowers and stuff like that. We're not going to do that in this video. We are going to do early game base defense, so I'm going to switch over to another save here shortly, and then... I'm going to show you how I defend this base and keep biters out of my pollution cloud proactively in my saves. And so I hope that between those two things, this will be a very useful video. Please let me know in the comments any questions that you have, any concerns about, well, it doesn't cover this, this and that, because everybody defends their base differently. I don't know if I've ever seen two players do biters the same exact way, like even if they clear them at the same time, they often will do it in different ways. And so we're going to go through a lot of different ways. And also, I know that the music and sounds are too loud in this video. I apologize sincerely. I've already recorded it. It's already been spliced together. So I can't fix that in this video. Thank you for your patience. I will fix it in videos going forward. This is a fresh save that I am only using for the purposes of illustrating different weapons and such. Uh, and also thank you to the mod author that created Quick Item. Uh, much appreciated. That's going to come in big handy here for demonstrating things. So we're just going to take some basic loadouts. I'm going to use the starter pistol. We'll see how far we get with that. I'm going to try the machine gun, the shotgun, and so on and so forth. And we're going to take out some biter nests. So here we go. As you can see here, I just have the starter pistol, a shotgun, and a machine gun. I have no upgrades and I am going to try to kill that nest with this loadout and my skills to the best of my ability. And we'll see how far I get. I think it's a great nest. There's two spawners in it. There's two worms and I have plenty of skill issues, so here we go. Pistol first. Okay, so with the pistol, I can't even really keep up with this. I can I can kill this group that came after me, as long as I kite them. Well, maybe, if I focus fire. Yeah, we're gonna win this, but not by a lot. If I had fish, that would be something different, but... So we're gonna call that one a loss. Okay, and if you don't know fish can heal you, you just hold them in your hand and right click anywhere and they heal you and you can use them while you're shooting, which may sound OP, but it's not as OP as you may think. So I'm not even gonna try this with the starter pistol. I will show you that with fish, I can kill that entire group of biters over there, but I am not gonna try to take that base out with, with just the starter pistol, not happening. With fish, I, I can just sit here and kite them and Kiting is important, by the way. So anyway, starter pistol, not an option. This is called the pistol of shame because it goes in your inventory and you get more than when you die. Now we're gonna hold our fish and we're gonna go over here and again, no weapon upgrades, no anything like that. Notice that they can't even really get to me. I don't have to aim at them. And there's a trick to dealing with the worms. One is fish because Oh, I'm trying. There's some kind of issue with the mod. Here we go. That's oh, a skill issue. Oh, there's another nest over there because I have the biters jacked way up. But that doesn't matter. With the fish, anything is possible. And so clearly, I can sit here and pound on this. This is a lot like a nest that you would see near your starter base, so... It takes a while. Now, we're going to segue right into my favorite thing, the shotgun. So I can run in circles here with the fish. I can put the biters between me and the nest. And look how much faster the shotgun is. So the thing about firearms magazines, the regular ones, versus shotgun ammo is, is that shotgun ammo is only slightly more costly to produce in that it takes one copper plate. It actually takes far less iron and the ammo goes way further. You get a lot more damage and DPS if you use it right for the shotgun ammo. That's a big deal. 
you can get armor piercing rounds for the machine gun and then that kind of changes things quite a bit too and we'll see that here in a second okay so i'm swapping out my machine gun ammo for piercing rounds let's see how this goes it, it's like a hot knife through butter we can dance here in order to keep the warm aggro down and just avoid their shots oh need my fish it still doesn't cut the nest down the same way the shotgun does and look at this the shotgun is an effective anti-tree weapon it's an effective biter weapon anti-biter weapon but if you if you miss the shots it does start to kind of let you down a bit trick is is to keep putting the biters between you and the nests and just focus on the nests and this works early game and it does scale later game and that's what i'll show you next now we're going to go back to my current save and i'll show you the weapons that you get in the still the early game but early trending mid game on novice how do you defend this base now you'll notice <laughs> that there is a shortage of biters around me and that's because i have artificially created that shortage using primarily shotgun shells i want to talk about how i decide when to engage biters when not to this guide will only cover the early game because that's only as far as i've gotten in factorio space age but this is still very relevant to space age so we have this little nest of biters over here we're going to stock up on some things and go over there and uh, do a tutorial all right oops uh oh of note i have up to five researched on both of the so the weapon speed the projectile shooting speed and projectile damage uh, mod i also have modular armor on with nothing in the equipment grid but it has pretty good stats nonetheless that's kind of part of the whole message here rush military science and get those upgrades because they do a great deal all right so we're gonna park over here we're gonna make ourselves a nice little nice little parking pad for our car here let's fix it up in case we need to use it i'm actually gonna do this without the car to start not because that's part of my plan but it is kind of part part of how I play. Now these cliffs here are going to work to your advantage. Oh great, I wasn't recording for any of that. Basically just trying to show that the machine gun is very useful. So we're going to switch to the combat shotgun and I'm going to start pushing my way into that base. Now fish, fish are a big part of this and I seem to have taken, the oh I'm out of fish. Okay let me go. The hotkey C is used to switch between weapons. I don't know if fish reproduce so I don't know if I, and I just got a weapon upgrade in the middle of this so that's going to change this whole dynamic as well. So if you don't know you can use fish to get healed in the middle of combat which is very useful for me in a scenario where I have the upper hand already the best defense is a good offense so you may take this as humor but seriously one of the most dangerous enemies in the game when you're trying to clear biter nests are cliffs and rocks because they are sometimes hard to see easy to forget and if you run into one your speed tank is gone so here let's start out with these guys in here just a couple of worms hanging out this is easy to deal with we'll get our fish out just in case but if you dance by holding down a and and bouncing back and forth you'll see they can't hit me no matter what oh but you can run through their their stuff if you keep your direction erratic they can't hit you oh and there was even a little nest over here so this is the combat shotgun but the regular shotgun can be used for this as well and let me just switch weapons here so that you can see there are other options as well and in fact sometimes the machine gun is the better weapon for the job goes without saying that the shotgun is better up close the shotgun is also an excellent way to make yourself a path through unfriendly territory if you need one in a hurry where do we leave that car let's uh so the thing about poison is it doesn't hurt the spawners but it hurts the biters and the worms so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to get in there real quick with some poison let's see so here we go oh right away right away i need to clear now now i have the upper hand because i just killed the buffer of biters that this spawner set has so i'm going to get in there and get a poison capsule down which you don't need this earlier in the game but this is going to help a lot with those worms 
try to get a couple of biter nests. And you can see on my mini-map there, like, we are... We are definitely in a relatively big nest here. I'm going to switch to fish. Heal up a bit. Make sure to take out the spitters that are coming in and start whittling down more biter nests and spitter nests. Now the poison is worn off. The worms in the middle are dead. So I'm going to back off, clean up. So you have to back off in order to lose aggro. And if you keep killing them, you're going to keep drawing aggro. And they will also have to go after that car. So in comes another poison capsule. Boop. And as you can see, this thing absolutely just shreds. And I rushed military science, and you should too, if you want to be able to deal with biters effectively, because that's what it's there for. I'm pulling aggro from the upper nests now, so I gotta watch that and clear out this buffer that they had built up. Down to 20 fish or so. Let's get another one here. Let's run around. Kill the medium biters. Got some in coming in from the top here. Gotta heal up. Kill off the spitters. Alright, these two worms over here are dead, so we basically get this is our house now. We'll back off here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna push this win. I could do it with another poison capsule. Let's get in the car. Well, first thing that the car needs is ammunition. Now the downside to this, if you look at my, my ammo, is I'm, I'm chewing through ammo very quickly. So I'm going to focus worms. There goes a worm down. Let's get another worm down. I'm alternating my direction and I'm... There we go. The car is down. Back up. Let the poison do its work on the worms and on the other biters. Now you can see I've been holding my, my shoot key down without regard for my ammo at all and I still have plenty. We're not even halfway through yet, but I am almost out of fish. So we're going to start moving away. I'm going to restock on some fish off screen. Sorry, bud. And it's kind of ironic here because I got asked to make a vid on defending bases and I'm making a vid on destroying them. The key is kind of proactively clearing out your pollution cloud. Now, I'm way outside of my pollution cloud, but if you know it's going to grow soon, it could be a good idea to deal with that. But we win this. All day we win this. As long as I don't do anything silly. Now I'm slowed down because of the worms, so I'm going to push through to try to get this worm right here, who is really giving me a hard time right now. I am spamming my fish right now. Those are medium spitters coming out now. But we win this. 100%. This is... Oh, there it is. Ah, eh, we'll respawn. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to try to get my body back? Question mark? Now, there are a thousand ways that I could tell you of how to clear out biter nests better. But for me, those ways are so easy for me that they're kind of bordering on cheese. And I don't... I like to enjoy the game. So I put, if you are a fan of Marcus Aurelius, it's called an... Inv uh, excuse me, a voluntary hardship. Again, we are not going to use the tank here. I, well, I might use it to get, because grenades, oh, uh, we're dead. So we'll just use the tank to wrap up the rest of this, hopefully. And we're going to prioritize worms. So here's a worm. Dead. Don't lose your speed. The tank, really, if you can get to it early, and I forget what science it's behind, we'll check in a minute. But the tank is the move. Lots of ammo, lots of tank, literally one lot of tank. And there we go. Relatively very large biter nest for this stage in the game is now gone. And I didn't use any of the weapons that are specific to the tank. Just drove my pollution, excuse me, my evolution factor up quite a bit, which means that I'm that much closer to big biters. So if we go back and look at a nest like this, this far away from your pollution cloud, yeah, don't kill it. There's no reason to. Unless you think your pollution cloud is going to dramatically increase. And this brings me back to another point, which is when you're selecting your location, if you look at the preview, the more trees, the more better for a more defensive play style. Now, you'll notice in this video that we did not at all talk about walls. If I were going to do walls, what I would look for is key choke points like this one and wall this off and put flamethrower turrets. 
Those are also highly OP. I don't know if they are in Space Age, but they always were. And for the places where I can't, I would try to either just build an enormous wall or I would go out and proactively clear the biters out of there only. So like for instance, if I knew that my pollution was about to go 10x as much because I was about to turn on a whole new part of my base, maybe I would go down here and kill these guys. Uh, but I'd probably also build the wall. In conclusion, the best defense is the best... Let me try to get this right. The best defense is a good offense in the early game if you're playing on default settings. Use fish, they heal you, they might as well be called overpowered med pack that maybe shouldn't even be in the game. If you have groups of biters following you, focus on getting away from the biter nests and mowing them down so that you stop drawing aggro. Proactively clear biter nests that are near your pollution cloud, and you can see that with this little toggle up here in your minimap. Rush military science in the early game. Literally, this is my entire military science output and it has made it so that I've been able to clear this much map. It really does help a lot and you can do things like divert the grenades into a box so that you have extra grenades and here's your armor piercing mags. Just going through the exercise of building military science will get you oh sorry i didn't include the part where i actually make the potions but as you can see it's simple too last but not least early on if you can land the shots the shotgun is by far and i don't just mean the combat shotgun the pump action shotgun too is the most economical weapon to use it costs less to make the mags it doesn't cost co well it costs copper and iron but the <laughs> you don't shoot through it nearly as fast as you do machine gun ammo machine gun ammo is good for taking out worms and specific targets the shotgun is good for just mowing down everything and then you can get right on top of the biter spawner and pump it full of shotgun and it goes away it's important to try things and fail at them before you get ahead of yourself make another save and try it out see if it works and if it doesn't reload your old save thank you so much for watching everybody if you enjoyed watching this please like comment and or subscribe any of those things send me a strong signal that you want me to make more of these videos you can also join our discord i will be dropping blueprints from each video in there especially as requested so come in say hi tell me what blueprints you want and i can give you either some from the video or i can go and try to make you one even if you if you want my input on it i'm happy to do that i can even make a video out of it and talk about the design and everything but until next time have a great rest of your day and week and talk to you next time everybody take care bye